What's up, internet? Naalala mo nung nasa school ka, tapos may test, tapos hindi ka talaga nag-aaral, so kailangan mo mag-fall back dun sa mga general rules na maalala mo. For example, maraming ganun sa law school. Sa negotiable instruments, usually yung holder in good faith and for value, siya yung tama. Sa land titles, kung may parcel of land na binenta to multiple people, first in time, first in right, usually. At kung wala ka talaga maalala at all, Tulad mo lang sa test paper mo, Duralex, Zedlex. May mga general rules with sa computer. And yung number one dito, higher number, better. Let's say between two computer parts, PC 100 or PC 50, all things being equal, pipiliin mo yung PC 100. Pero tama nga ba yung general rule na to? Pag-usapan natin, pero bago nun, ang video na to ay handog ni... Bibili ka ng PC, most likely kailangan ng Windows. Pero saan ko kukuha ng legit windows? Daming options, daming prices. Ah, kalito! Buti na lang, may cdkeyoffers.com Madali lang ang order! Search for the software you need, add to cart, daan ka sa payment options nila. Wala pang 5 minutes, finished! May legit working cdk ka na para sa windows mo. Gamitin ng aming code para makakuha pa ng discounts. Kaya kung naghahanap ka ng legit, mura, at original software, Check out cdkeyoffers.com Let's go part by part starting with the CPU. Yung usual metric for speed sa CPU is gigahertz. And hindi ba 2 gigahertz is better than 1 gigahertz? Yes, some of the time. Sa gigahertz kasi, comparable lang siya between CPUs of the same family. So let's say Ryzen 5000 series, yung R5 5600X, 4.6 GHz yun. The Ryzen 9 5950X is 4.9 GHz. So yes, mas mabilis nga siya kaysa sa Ryzen 5 5600X. Pero hindi mo sila compare dun sa Intel 12th Gen na magkaibang CPU family. Yun nga, GHz only works within the same types of chips. So useless na compare yung gigahertz ni Ryzen versus gigahertz ni Intel versus gigahertz ni Apple. Kahit let's say mabilis yung megahertz ni Intel, hindi ibig sabihin nun na automatically mas mabilis siya kaysa sa kay AMD compared to an AMD CPU with a lower gigahertz. Core count, yes, usually higher number better because more cores lets you do more multitasking. So better nga siya in the sense na mas mabilis nga naman talaga yung performance Pero hindi lahat ng mga programs or applications nagagamit niya lahat ng cores. For example, for gaming, a lot of games don't use a lot of cores. So yes, may speed boost sa games yung R9 5950X, pero price to performance, lamang pa rin si R5 5600X, which has a lot less cores. Because cores are better for multitasking. Individual programs, like games, aren't designed to take advantage of a lot of cores. So, totoo nga naman, higher number better, more cores better, pero kailangan mo rin tingnan yung price to performance. Value buy ba siya para sa use case mo? For motherboards, yes, usually higher number better, speed of RAM supported, higher number better, transfer speeds from the PCIe bus, higher number better. So, dito totoo yung rule, higher number better, except of course for temperatures. You want the VRM temps to be as low as possible. Number of faces of the motherboard, mas maraming faces, mas fine yung control niya dun sa power na pumapasok dun sa CPU and other components. So yes, a motherboard would generally pass the higher number better rule. Yung GPU then usually higher number better. Speed of the GPU, higher number better. Size of its memory, higher number better. Number of fans, higher number better. Number of tensor cores or the AMD equivalent, higher number better. So yes, a GPU follows the general rule, higher number better, except dun sa presyo. Siyempre gusto natin, lower number better when it comes to the price of a GPU. PSU, yes, generally higher number better, especially dun sa color rating ni 80 plus. An 80 plus gold is more efficient compared to an 80 plus white or 80 plus bronze. Titanium yung pinaka highest na 80 plus rating. Generally, the higher the color, the more reliable a PSU is. Kasi kailangan mas maganda yung components niya para umabot dun sa higher efficiency rating. Generally, also higher watt capacity better. 
to 850 watts can deliver more power compared to a 650 watt PSU. Hindi naman makakasama sa computer kung mataas yung watt capacity ng PSU. Hindi nasasaktan yung computer, let's say 850 watts yung PSU mo, hindi siya na-overpower, walang nadadamage na component kasi ang daming watts na pinifeed ng PSU. You don't need to worry about that. Although again, isipin mo rin yung price to performance. Siyempre, mas mahal yung mga higher wattage PSUs, 80 watts, 1000 watts, 1200 watts, 80 plus titanium compared to 80 plus gold. Baka naman hindi mo kailangan yung sobrang high-powered na PSU. May recent video kami na for a high-end computer, okay na yung 650 watts. For added headroom or added allowance, usually most enthusiasts get 750 watts. Anything beyond that is really mining territory. Sa RAM, yes, higher number better when it comes to the size. So definitely, 8GB is better than 4GB. 32GB is better than 16GB. Although, tandaan na... Mas maganda kung naka dual channel meaning you have two sticks of RAM. So 1x8 versus 2x4, piliin mo yung 2x4. So actually even then higher number better. The more sticks you have, generally better kasi magagamit mo yung dual channel ng Mobo. Hindi mo magamit yun kung single stick RAM ka lang. Pero sa speed ng RAM, higher number is not necessarily better. Sa Ryzen architecture ngayon, the sweet spot is around 3,600 to 3,800 MHz. Dahil sa Infinity Fabric Clock nung AMD, nung Ryzen series, anything beyond that, actually makakasama pa sa computer mo. It might lead to system instability or it might even crash the computer. Hindi na kasi in sync yung Infinity Fabric Clock dun sa RAM. So, may mga clear instances na higher speed is not necessarily better for RAM. CL timings, Opposite naman to, actually mas gusto mo yung mas mababa na CL timings. Lower timings usually mean that they're tighter, meaning that the communication of the RAM is faster to the motherboard. For example, mas hinahanap yung CL16 by enthusiasts kaysa CL18. Although para sa akin, medyo debatable gano'n ba laki yung advantage nung sobrang tight timing CL16 compared to CL18. Meron talaga, although if you're not an enthusiast na magtitinker around manually with the timings, you'll probably be happy already with CL18. SSDs, yes, usually higher number better. Usually yung mga metrics ng SSDs, data transfer rate, data read rate, all of those things usually higher number better number of cycles kasi usually sinasabi ng mga SSD manufacturers oh itong SSD ko rated up to ilang read write cycles so the higher the number the longer the SSD will last sa monitor yes usually higher number better unang una yung size niya 27 inches is a big leap from 24 inches hindi mo maiisip na gaano ba laki talaga yung quality of life increase tatlong inches lang Pero sulit na sulit talaga yung 3 inches. Mararamdaman mo talaga yun. From 22 to 24 to 27, just those little increments of inches, mas lumalaki talaga yung screen space and yung immersiveness ng mga games, yung productivity mo, kasi mas marami kang windows na mabubuksan. And then of course, the jump to 32 and even larger monitors. Kung kaya nung desktop mo, yung actual desktop, yung size ng desktop mo, and kung kaya ng budget, really, there's no disadvantage to getting the largest monitor you can. Other metrics for monitors, higher number better also. Refresh rate, resolution, all of those things usually higher number better. Of course, you could be overpaying again. Dito ulit lumalabas yung price to performance factor. Kung di ka naman gamer, di mo talaga kailangan ng 144Hz monitor. Just for office, 60Hz or 75Hz will do. So yes, while on paper, higher number might be better for refresh rate, depende talaga yun sa kailangan mo. Ano yung use case mo, and piliin mo yung tamang monitor para hindi masayang pera mo. Air cooler, usually higher number better, it's true. The more towers it has, the more fans it has, even yung physical size niya, yung height niya, and yung width niya, the larger the number, usually the better performing the air cooler. Of course, ingat ka lang kung bumili ka ng big boy air cooler like the NHD 15, the Quiet Dark Rock Pro 4, baka hindi mo na mapasok yan sa case mo. Better nga yung cooling performance, 
pero hindi naman pala siya tugma sa system mo. EIO's higher number better, it's true. Most specifically sa RAD size. Nagulat talaga ako when we tried it out in our previous videos. Laki ng performance increase from a 240mm RAD to a 360mm RAD. Para sa akin, hindi ko na nga ma-recommend yung 120mm RAD. Medyo mahina talaga yung performance niya. You'd be better off with an air cooler. That's why Hardware Sugar doesn't stock anymore 120mm RAD AIOs. It's 240 and up for us. Yung price to performance, medyo alanganin talaga yung 120mm. But 240 and above is okay. And there's a big jump in performance between 240 and 360mm. Yung case, di naman talaga applicable yung rule na yun. Sizings of cases. In demand ngayon yung very small cases or just smaller cases than the usual ATX format. Outside of the computer, pero still very important to everybody, is internet speed. Yun talaga usually higher number better. 300 Mbps is better than 100 Mbps. Pero yung exception dun is ping. <laughs> dun lower number better. Ping is basically the amount of time it takes for you to communicate to the server. And it's possible to have high internet speed. Sobrang bilis yung internet speed mo, pero mataas rin yung ping mo. Medyo mapapaisip ka ng konti, kasi mabilis na nga internet speed ko eh, pero bakit mataas pa rin yung ping ko? That could depend on the server that you're talking to. Mahalaga talaga yung ping sa games. That's why big games have multiple servers around the world, so that gamers can connect to the server that's closest to them to reduce ping time. So yes, you do want higher number for your internet speed, but for ping, you want it as low as possible. So yun yung roundup natin, and the general rule seems a little shaky to be honest. Kung testo, medyo 50% of the time lang talaga siya na tama. Medyo mahirap kasi ikahon yung computer sa mga general rules or basta palaging tama yung isang rule na to. And even when higher number is correct, depende din yun sa use case mo. For example, nga dun sa monitors, yung refresh rate, mas maganda nga naman talaga yung 144Hz kaysa sa 75Hz. Pero kung di ka naman gamer, useless lang naman yun. Magbabayad ka for a feature that you don't really need. So kahit talaga sa mga sitwasyon na sobrang linaw talaga na higher number better, be sure to understand the spec and what it's actually trying to say. And then isipin mo kung kailangan mo ba talaga yung bilis na yun. What is the higher number representing and do you need it in your life? Pero for sure, general rule, size matters. Yung inches ng monitor, laking quality of life improvement yun. Thanks for watching. And thank you to our top fans. Na-afford na namin itong upuan na to. Hindi, joke lang. Thank you to Leah Magnaye, Ian Meru, ITX Addict, John Ruben Ocha, Christian Espinosa, and Rafael James. Thank you for supporting the channel.